what's up everyone so subscribe but we need to talk about something we need to talk about chris paul now if you look at chris paul's contract it is pretty stupid because he's only um on contract for because he is not on contract for young for the sh for the Chris Paul Chris Paul's contract is not going to, um it's going to uh so he, Chris Paul signed a one uh a four year one hundred twenty million contract with Phoenix Suns when he signed with the Phoenix Suns so has not updated it yet but I personally think that it is going to be bad for him uh, joining the Warriors and I have made a video on this before so you guys know that I know of the current situation the Warriors are in I get it they have I get it, they're trying to build a super team before, because they're both relatively around the same age, okay? Relatively, okay? I'm, uh, okay, I'm just saying relatively, they're around the same. So, I mean. I'd be just saying they're the exact same. They had the, they played the exact same position, and they basically had the same mentality prayers. Except Chris Paul passes way more than Curry, but Curry can be a great passer when he does pass. And I don't personally think that it is bad for I mean I am just saying the Warriors if you're a Warriors fan you gotta be happy with that trade but at the same time you guys cannot be happy it's like a spear in between because uh, if you look at Chris Paul Chris Paul was born May 6th 1985 so he's 38 years old and that means that he's one of the oldest nba players so that could not be good and then if you look for what they traded away for from for him for, to the wizards the wizards got jordan pool which in my in my opinion obviously chris paul has had a way better like 100 times career but better but I don't think it is enough for. I don't think that's enough. Because they traded one of their best young players. They, they traded one of their best young players. Jordan Poole for a aged superstar who is over 35. Over 35 is when you know you're going to have to cut ties with someone quickly. And they've basically just did it. They The Warriors just signed someone. So, in my opinion, this is going... This could be... And if you look at Steph Curry's age, too. Steph Curry is not young either. Steph Curry is 35 years old. He is 6 foot 2. I feel like he's 6 foot 5. I feel like there's like. So if you look at his stats, and this is going to be important, I'm going to be talking about both of their career stats just so we can talk about who's going to be playing more. Um, I mean, I'm assuming it's going to be Curry, but get to see so we can assume. I don't want to. So. I'm not a guesser. I I like to see the 
stats and then see everything to see who will be the week one starter. So this year he had 56. What? Okay. So he had 34.7 minutes this year, 29.4 points this year, 49.3 percent field goal percentage this year, 42.7 per three point percentage this year, 6.1 rebounds this year, 6.3 assists last year, 0 0.9 assists last year, and then this year, okay. And then last year he had 34.5 minutes a game, so just under. Almost four points yes than he did uh that time. He had way less points. Um he had he had a worse free roll percentage. He had a worse free point free point percentage. He had a worse he only got grabbed five point two percent. I mean he only grabbed five point two rebounds compared to six point one rebounds that he did this year. Six point three assists he got last year, six point three assists he got this year. So the exact same. Zero point nine of steals yes this year. And then you got one point three steals last year. Career heat career Steph Curry averages thirty four point four minutes per game, twenty four point six points per game. Flip work field goal percentage um forty seven point five percent. Four three point percentage, forty two point eight percent, which is just a bit higher than it was this year, just point one percent. Rebounds he averages point four point seven, so he's gotten more the last two years. All right, assists he's got he, he's gotten six point three the last two years. He averages 6.5, so that's a decline. And then Steel, he averages 1.6 a game and this year. So, yeah, he, he didn't even average one, so that's a big decline. So, it's almost a steal off. Okay, that those are pretty good stats. So, let's see what Chris Paul has to do, has to deal with that. It's, um... I feel like he has been around for too. I feel like he has been in the NBA too young, so I'm not going to be doing his entire career. I'm not going to be doing his entire career. I'm going to be doing most of it. But what? Oh. So his his last two years, his last two years, because those where you're gonna be looking at the last two years of his career. His last two years, he has averaged 32 minutes per game this year, 13.9 points this game this year, for 44 percent of field goals this year, 37.5 percent three point shot percentage this year. 4.3 assist rebounds this year, 8.9 assists this year, 1.5 steals this year, and in 2021 to 2022, he averaged 34.4 minutes per game, 17.9 points, um, 47.2 field goal percentage. Oh, we all right. He averaged 32.9 minutes last year. He averaged 14.7 points, 49.3 field goal percentage, 31.7 three-point percentage, 4.4 rebounds, 10.8 assists, and 1.9 steals. Yes, well, yes. And then in for his career, he averages 34.4 minutes per game, 17.9 Wait, 34.4 minutes per game, 17.9, um, 47.2 field goal percentage, um, 36.9% free point percentage, 4.5 rebounds, 
throughout his career. 10.5 assists. 9.5 9 assists, I'm sorry. And then 2.1 steals. So, who is my... Who is my game one starter, or whatever you want to call it, who is the starter for the season? I... The drum roll, please. I'm taking... Steph Curry. I'm taking Steph. I'm gonna take in Chef Curry.